new and tools or our here is a new query control and shortcut for write your query here is a query window when I use a create here is here is error so could not find store procedure create so it display your errors now we are discussing about uh, create a database it's simple to create a new database just right right click on the database and database node and here is your database node and here is a new database options and here is a new database dialog box you must uh, fill your database name and there are lot of settings in this dialog box and option uh, we will discuss about in later video session first just simply we enter a name of our database and click ok our database is created my data refresh your database and explorer database folder to my data database is created using design view using sql server management studio now delete our database and second second option create a database using sql server query so our query command for create a database is create a new database using sql query create database database name and press execute our query here we create database and our database name so error is gone because we write the right query you can execute by f press f5 or execute using mouse pointer here is a result window result window is display your query queries result commands complete successfully and now refresh our database folder and here is a my data database using query now we create a table using design view so just explore your my data and go to table directory and press right key and table so here is a window for a table and uh, we create table in part 1 so please watch part 1 for uh, which table we created portfolio table created portfolio id here is a column name and data type there are several data type we discuss we will discuss about each data type in next video session now we select int 
allowed null no company name in worker for tax number of share here is in for share and price decimal place so we can data type money we can use data type of money data type and amount is also data type is money and company id now here we create a primary key for our portfolio id and here is identity and save table to upper side query window and right click to save table our table name is portfolio table now our table is created and if you see your table refresh your table using right click table node and right click and refresh button press and exploring expanding here is our portfolio table in its column this is the way of create a table using design mode and now we create a table using sql server query mode here is a create table using sql server query create table table name and column and data type here is same table so delete my table and create a table using sql query my data in create table table name of our table portfolio in brackets for create a column first column name portfolio id in and identity identity for one of one and not null and last end put a comma for a next column next column company name in worker and character is max for maximum character in your column name column data number of share amount and price number of share and amount money and price also money and here is a company id here not created column in company id but we create a company id and 
it's our SQL query for create a table execute query command complete successfully and now refresh our table and DBO portfolio table completely created created completely and we use another query window for insert some data first select start for all columns and portfolio but here is a use my data execute this query dbo dot portfolio query completely successfully now insert data insert into dbo.portfolio in brackets portfolio id is primary key and identity so we do not need to any data in a portfolio id company name number of uh, shares and amount and price and values company name number of share unread amount number of share actually in data type so we do not need a mark punctuation mark It is the same data in we watch part one execute this query invalid name number of share we mistake number of share One row affected and here start from select we have two records in our portfolio table and now update query if you watch about queries so go to watch part one of our SQL tutorial
one row affected then we change our value to first row and identity one is in process and now delete statement write a query in second line one row affected now use a select statement here is only one row and portfolio id is 2 now in this tutorial we discuss about create a database and table in uh, design mode or sql query mode sql data sql query mode in next video we are in next video we are we will watch about uh, constraint primary key foreign key and other constraint in detail and uh, if you like my video please subscribe and share and comment to me to encourage me to make a more video about sql and so thank you friends watching this video and have a nice day